you. I just wanted to shoot a quick video to show everybody how I hooked up my Renogy solar panel to my Sunray 109 camper. <clears throat> so as you can see, I have the Sunray 109. Let's go around to the other side. <clears throat> so there's my panel. I used bed frames to make the railing to mount the panel to. It's a 100 watt energy panel. And there you can see the panel. Here's the bed frames. See how I just used some U bolts. Put some wire loom on there to protect it from the sun, uh, rain, rust. <clears throat> so the panel's mounted, the wires run right through here, and I removed the um, cover for the refrigerator vent so I can run the wires down through there. That's the only place that I could find without having to tear everything apart to install it. Um, so the wires run down through the top of the refrigerator vent. And then they come back out under here at the bottom of the refrigerator vent. And then they run across the base of the framing of the trailer. So if we come around to the other side, about the shaky camera. You will see I mounted my fuse holder on the A-frame <clears throat> so it's easy access if I have to uh, replace it. Um, so then there are the wires come up to the front <sighs> to the battery box. And everything is ran inside the camper. What I did was remove the refrigerator cover and notched out the portion of the cover so the wires can run through to my charge controller. I still need to mount my Bluetooth controller. Well, that's later on down the road. I just want to give a quick video on this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, anyway, I've never seen anybody on YouTube actually show the hookup or the wiring for solar on the 1A109 Sunray so just want to give you a quick video on how it's done it was honestly it took me longer to figure out where I'm going to run the wires from the solar panel down into the camper than it did to hook up the whole system but I originally wanted to put it up here but um, there's a false panel behind the radio and that switch and there's only like a one inch hole to run wires through and I was afraid I was gonna have to remove the air conditioner so I didn't go that route I just went through the back side of the refrigerator um, behind this panel you can't see it but I did uh, put a um, cable tie down up against the side walls so the cables wouldn't touch the uh, refrigerator if I had to run on propane so it wouldn't heat up the wires or anything like that just for safety reasons <clears throat> but other than that uh, the kit did come with a thermostat I did not hook that up I may be hooking that up the thermostat actually goes down to the battery compartment so the charge controller can keep char an eye on how hot your battery is um, I am currently running my vent um, lights work porch lights work radio uh, working displays lit up 
Um, I did have an issue right off the bat where it wasn't turning on at all. Um, so I found out that this fuse down here, the second one up from the 40 amp, is your 12 amp fuse. And that was blown. So I did have to go get a new fuse for it. But now everything's working and we're good to go. So uh, we haven't gone camping yet in this camper, but we're planning to go someplace, but we want to have solar so we can boondock. Because uh, right now, finding a place with full hookups is really tough out here in Arizona. So, we wanted to be able to run this route and enjoy camping. Um, pretty sure you guys are wondering what this is. Uh, this is to mount the porta potty for transporting reasons. Um, we do have an enclosed screen room uh, that goes on the awning. And the way it is, this locks it in place for traveling so it doesn't fall over the place. Um, and then when you get to the campground, you just pull this lever, porta potty comes off, and you can put it outside inside the uh, the enclosed screened in room, so no one can see you. It's privacy. But anyway, just wanted to run a quick video on how that was done, and I am going to probably run a thousand watt power inverter soon. Uh, I'll let you know when that's done, so you guys can see how that was done as well. All right, thanks for watching.